it going? This is Halloween Drawings. Hopefully having a great day. Um, today we're going to go over how to draw a raven sitting on a skull. Uh, it's going to be super easy and simple. So if you're a beginner, you're in the right spot. Okay? So I'm going to be using this Crayola brand marker and regular printing paper. And that's all you really need. Um, you can use it in pencil. You can do this in whatever you like. So let's get started. Go go right here. Oh, before I start, don't forget to hit the subscribe. I'm going to be posting almost every day until Halloween, so absolutely hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification so that you get the notification that I posted. Um, some days I'm going to be posting more than one video, so you don't want to miss that. Um, and yeah, I'm going to be post I only post three months out of the year, so it's a seasonal channel. So let's do it. I'm going to go right here and start with the beak. Go out. Basically, like just like a line right there, curve down to the beak of the bird, of the uh, raven. I'm going to pull up over here, like so. I'm going to go over here and pull the bottom beak back. I'm going to throw a zigzag line right here for the fur. Or the fur, wow, of the feathers. Gonna go over the top. Back, zigzag. Down here. A lot of this zigzagging is really just kind of like the feathers kind of billowing out. Circle. I'm going to uh, draw the feather, you know, of the, the wing of the arm. It's going to kind of curve over here like so. I'm going to make that come out a little bit more. Go on this side. Back down. Also, don't forget this is like one of many different kinds, right? There's going to be many different versions of this, of the raven on the skull. So this is just one of many, okay? You can always try to find others on the list. There will be more. So uh, just kind of drawn in different styles, different angles, and so on. It's going to pull down at a point, come to a point up. And this is going to curve over here, over the side. And then the tail is going to pop out over here. And it's square. <laughs> Gonna throw some uh, lines over here for the wing. Zigzag here. Uh, feet right here. Line. Over here. What I'm gonna do is gonna pull the foot out here. I'm going to go out, down. It's going to be like, he has this claw shape, right, that he's grabbing onto. So I'm going to pull like a, like a U shape here, you'll see, to kind of separate the toes. Pulling back. Ball shape right here, down. Ball shape right here, down. Line over here, line over here. And you could draw the far side claws, the same thing. It's like this stick right here and then a little ball over here. All right, so let's draw the skull. The skull is going to be underneath there. So I'm going to start with, so imagine the, the actual top of the head here going there. And I'm going to curve over here the back. Gonna go out the front here. What's gonna peek out is the top of that skull here. Down, out. Line out here. Down, uh, over here. Back up. So it's gonna be there. And I'm gonna, so that's gonna be one, you know, um, eye socket. And then I'm going to go over here and draw the other one. It's kind of like a, 
more of a square shape, but you can do that as well. So I'm going to fill these two in now that they are there in front of me. Don't forget, if you want tools that will make you a better artist, absolutely check out the description. The description is going to have a lot of stuff on there. There's a beginner drawing course, like if you can't really hold the pencil correctly, um, like if you're that that new. Um, and then there's also, you know, it's really good. And then also there is a cute drawing ebook, um, and there's uh, entire full courses on how to draw anatomy, anime, dragons, and more. And you can see all that stuff completely free if you join Skillshare. And um, the link is below. When you click that link, it gives you a full month of Skillshare for free. So try that out. Line over here, kind of between like a crack there in the nasal bone. Going to go over here, cross down over here and I'm going to fill that in out down in out down over here the zygomatic arch is basically the cheekbone area and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a line down here for the top of the mouth which is the maxilla it's part of the skull, and I'm gonna do this kind of shape, the bump, 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 bumpily, bumpy shapes for the teeth there. Curve over here, over here, dimple right here in the cheek, dimple right here, and I'm gonna start drawing the teeth individually right here, like so. And all I'm gonna do is put them in like that that's pretty much it after this is mostly detail you can uh, maybe draw like a crack in here think of a crack as like a lightning bolt it's a large uh, air, a large one line with little lines coming off of it maybe a little bit of a deeper line right here on this side but that is it and I'm gonna fill in this eye actually but like I said I'm gonna be drawing a lot more of this in different styles and I'm gonna draw a lot of Halloween imagery and also kind of like bad guys from movies and things like that anything even close to Halloween so absolutely tune in it's gonna ramp up in the next few months because Halloween's on its way so please hit the subscribe and if you really like this video do me a huge 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 favor and share this with someone that you think would enjoy it uh, share it with someone who likes drawing stuff like this um, you know share it on Twitter or or you know there's a share button on the bottom right hand corner I think with uh, YouTube and uh, yeah, share it anywhere. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You guys are amazing, and I wouldn't be here without you. I'm very, very happy that I can express myself, you know, once for one season a year on this channel. Thank you, and I will see you next time. Oh, stay spooky, guys.